begun by college campuses. Here's the opposition. Um, I'm, I believe that they should be allowed. Um, people that disagree think that faculty and students might not be prepared to use it. Uh, someone comes in, they, would they be ready to just kill someone that's maybe 18 or 20? Um, maybe not. Maybe they just freeze and then it does no good. Um, will they be allowed time away from work for training? And will they be uh, like, will they be paid to, for the ammunition they have to train with and where they train and stuff? So very comp very uh, possible that the schools won't pay for that. Um, will they be okay with possibly being targeted? Um, it's like a rule where technically if there's a firearm allowed, they can they have to like post who all armed on campus, and so mainly students or mainly teachers and administration could possibly be targeted. So if they take them out first, then there's no one left. So that it would be pointless again. And if also for the students or for the teachers mainly in the administration, if the gun's locked up um, and a shooter runs in there, it's very common that the person might not be able to get to the gun in time and it'll be too late. Once again, it'd be pointless. And uh, would they be prepared to be in a civil lawsuit? If they accidentally injured somebody, then their family could come up and sue and then all their uh, assets could be like put out there and it would just be, it could get pretty nasty. Um, here's my first reason. Schools are chosen for a reason. Um, think about it. If you wanted to kill a lot of people, you're going to go somewhere where there's a lot of people, like a school. And uh, also, you'd go to a place that you knew there was no like security or no possible no possibility to be shot. So we have here, I mean, I don't know if Mr. Johnson's packing, but I know the cops would take them 10 minutes to get here. So it's, I mean, they could do a lot of damage in 10 minutes before anybody hits them with a chair or something. Uh, so just having a sign that that kind of says that there's guns is a deterrent, and uh, it just warns the psychos that they, they could get killed. And uh, also, just the fact that there would be firearms here, that would deter the possibility of crime. And this sign right here is really true. This is what normal people see in a sign, and that's what the psychos see. And all that tells them is that no one in there is going to shoot you, so go shoot them all. And... Crime will, another big deal they say is crime was going to increase because teenagers or 20 year olds aren't ready to have a gun and they'll just go rob everybody. But there's actually, uh, you can't just carry one legally. If you have it and you're not legal technically, you're under the unlaw abiding citizen category. So the bad guys are going to have the guns. So you need some good guys to stop them other than cops because they can't be everywhere. There's not that many cops. But you have to go through quite a bit of uh, vigorous training and uh, testing and background checks and mental checks to uh, get one of these. And this is the one they started doing in September because it's not concealed anymore. It's just a license to carry. So you still have to go through quite a bit of uh, training and it expires every, I think, four years. You have to go re get retested. You have to pay and re get retested. And if you did something crazy, then it can get revoked. So it just, there's a lot of ways that you can get the right people out of the system. Uh, it would all, I think it'd make college safer. Uh, you shouldn't be worrying about whether or not you're going to get held hostage or shot in class. You should worry about uh, getting everything done and staying awake. And, uh, another thing is sexual assault rates would definitely go down because one of the articles I read, this guy was saying, what guy is going to go after girls when they could have a gun and, you know, shoot them? So there's a picture of a girl's gun. Uh, gun control doesn't work. Look at Caracas, Venezuela. Very strict gun control. Nearly no civilians have guns, and if they do, they're very hidden. Uh, most dangerous country in the world. Chicago, very strict gun control. That's where our president was born, or uh, that's where our president lived. That's very strict gun control, and it's the most dangerous city in America. Honduras, second most dangerous city in the world, and they have no civilian guns. So these guys right here, drug leaders, they run everything because no one can take them down, and the cops are likely being paid off. So people are innocent, people are just getting beheaded and killed because they can't defend themselves. Taking your guns away from law-abiding citizens only makes it easier for crime to take over. In my conclusion, um, colleges are a target because of the people they have there and the lack of security. So like I said earlier, just having the guns there would deter people from wanting to come in and do harm. Um, having some armed citizens on campus, either uh, students, professors, administrators, or uh, counselors, anything, that would just deter the possibility because they know they'd get shot. 
Um, handgun purchase age, I think it also could be looked at lowered to 18 because that's an age you can buy tobacco and uh, go gamble and lottery tickets and get thrown in jail and go in the military. So why can't you buy a handgun too? So I think, and that would double the amount of firearms that are allowed on campus if you rate lowered it to 18. So I think that would also help because you have more guns and uh, like they'd still be trained just the same as an older person. Um, and also, it's very easy to get your permit revoked so you wouldn't be able to carry your gun anymore. So then you go from law abiding to not, and so you're technically not allowed anymore. And uh, having the presence of illegally carried firearms on college campuses would decrease the amount of crime and mass shootings. Um, First of all, there probably wouldn't be as many attempts because they'd get shot if they came in there. Uh, like I said, sexual assault, probably those rates are going to go down. Um, and people are probably not going to come in and rob a school. There's not much to steal out of it. But I think guns on campus would make it an all-around safer place. That's it. <laughs>